from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. And also had some really large hail uh, with winds at 80 to 90 miles an hour across the eastern sections of McAllister and Krebs. Uh, with that same storm system and a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Uh, we're all behind that now. That's some, my better news. This morning we get a little bit of patchy fog out the door. We're going to have sunshine, a few high thin clouds. That's it. And a high today of 86. We'll continue with the north breeze at around 7 to 12 miles per hour. The rest of the forecast is basically, uh, basically, pardon me, kind of steady state here. Temperature trends tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, back to the mid and upper 80s. And we'll be very close to 90 on Friday and then into the weekend. No major changes from a temperature standpoint. Morning lows over the next several days will also be in the metro into the 60s. Now, it will be a little cooler in some of the valleys uh, for Tuesday and Wednesday. There will be a couple of spots in the upper 50s. We have some 50s this morning in, in some locations. So it's, it's a warm and almost totally dry weather pattern. More on that in just a minute. Cool and pleasant mornings by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now the wind starts to pick up a little bit. I mean, not windy or anything, but you'll notice more of a breeze, especially Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is uh, a little front that's going to be stalling across far southern Kansas and northern Oklahoma late Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, and that might be able to trigger a small shower or a brief little sprinkle. Just enough to kind of mention that right now. No real probability, but we'll watch it here. Uh, so if you're headed to the Tulsa State Fair at the end of the week, well, this is the, the crank up of the fair. So Thursday's high temperature would be into the mid and upper 80s. Sunshine, warm weather, south winds at around 10. A couple of gusts near 20 miles an hour. This morning, as we mentioned earlier here at the top of the broadcast, our main issue this morning is going to be visibility. Uh, the number on your screen is visibility in miles. We do have some low visibilities here, mostly across the far eastern areas. And that's where dense fog advisory goes until 9 o'clock. So 60s and 70s early on. Sunshine coming up. Really nice day. 79 at noon and highs this afternoon would be into the 80s. If you have plans tonight between 7, 8 and 9 o'clock, it's going to be mostly into the 70s. We're already looking at Friday night football here on early Monday morning and uh, the game time temperatures will be into the 70s with south breezes at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. No major storm system over the next several days. Next week the pattern starts to change and we'll be tracking a few of those. This morning the leftover showers of storms moving along the Red River and moving southward. Uh, temperatures right now in Tulsa at 65, so we have 60 degree weather out the door. There's a couple of spots in the far northern areas that will be into the 50s. Uh, so it's 58 in Pawnee and 59 in Stillwater. Feels a little better in those areas because of slightly drier air, but the dew points here again are up a little bit, so that's why it's still a slightly kind of muggy, human type morning. Highs this afternoon, 85 in Pryor, 86 in Tulsa, 85 in McAllister, and 88 in Pawnee. So there's no major changes over the next several days. The only thing we'll really watch is this little boundary early Wednesday morning that could you know, squeeze out a sprinkle along the Kansas State line area. And there's the rest of the forecast, including the weekend. It's going to be a warm one coming up.